What is up guys, it is Mephikids here and today I'm bringing you a tutorial on YouTube's new one channel layout. Yes, YouTube are bringing out a new layout. Um, has been released. Um, you can try it out now. Uh, you can obviously, you can revert back to the old one. However, I have been told that in about a month or so's time, maybe longer or less, this will be the permanent YouTube. Um, so a lot of people are going to want their own custom banners so in this tutorial um, I'm going to be making a banner for you guys to actually see so we're going to be using GIMP today uh, this is 2.8.4 in the description below will be the download link to actually go and download this I highly recommend it 100% free best photo editing software I've come across that's free as well so what we're going to want to do is we want to go File and New. I want to set the width to 2,120 and the height to 1,192. And you're going to come up with this blank canvas. Next thing you're going to want to do is you want to find your picture. So we're going to go to File, Open as Layers, and then we're going to choose Layer. Now as we can see, this layer is way too small. So we're going to go to the Scale tool and we're going to scale this up. I have to go through the long process of doing it this way because it won't let me do it the other way and scale it up to the same we had originally there we go so I'm going to scale that up we're going to click back on the move tool and then we're going to move the picture we're going to get rid of this layer because we don't need it anymore because that was just a template and here's the background picture we're going to use. Uh, next thing you're going to want to do is do file open as layers and YouTube are giving us a template on what we're going to use. So I'm going to explain more about that in a sec. For those that want the template, just go to, um, for some reason, it's there we go. Go to Google Images, type in YouTube channel, uh, YouTube one channel template and you will find the picture. Uh, just save the image and you will be all ready to go now as you can see here there are multiple areas you've got TV desktop max tablet and logo safe area the logo safe area is visible on all devices uh, obviously the tablet and the desktop they stretch out and the TV is the 2120 by 1192 or it says 1193 there it doesn't really matter you're going to be working in the logo safe area um, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to add text now unfortunately I'm not able to actually put in the custom text I have because I need to speak to the person who created the text to see whether or not I will be able to use it for the near future so I'm going to highlight my text we're just going to increase the size increase it to that 135 and we'll change the color like so so once we've done that we're then going to want to just move the text obviously you do not want to put it on the avatar because that's where your avatar will go and oh I did not mean to do that I'm moving the layer and you don't want to put it down here because this is where your social links will go so once you've placed your text, pictures, etc. inside the red safe area, you're going to want to click on in the layers. You want to right click on the YouTube channel and you want to get rid of it. Now you obviously can see it's off to one side, but you're going to see the difference it's making now. This is not lined up. Go on, line up you bitch. I can still see some at the top right there we go that's better so now that we've got the text and now we've got the background what you're going to then want to do is you're going to want to export it uh, I find exporting it to JPEGs a lot better because you do get better quality and plus when you export you can actually put the quality straight up to 100 um, without a problem um, if you want to save it for future re-editing uh, go for it it's entirely up to you 
now that we've got the background as we can see it's right here now that we've got it in fact we'll actually let's open it open with photo gallery so we'll just have a quick preview even though you guys have already seen what it will look like that's what it looks like right it's quite it's quite um what's the word sharp so now what you're going to want to do is you want to go to youtube and then you're going to want to come to the little pen on the banner and go to edit channel art now go to upload photos select the photo from your computer you can drag it it's entirely up to you and then you're going to want to find the photo you've just made so here it is so we're going to open that I'm going to let that upload onto the channel art and as you can see I don't know if you guys can see this but here it says recommended channel art size 2120 by 1192 max file size of 2 megabytes that's why I put it in JPEG because putting it in JPEG at 100% quality it puts it at like 1.5 meg but at PNG is stupid it's like 2 point something meg and you, you just ain't going to get it on YouTube simple as that right so we wait for this to upload um, while this is uploading for those that have custom photos or custom backgrounds that they've made um, it might be more difficult for you to actually work out everything to match uh, and I'll show you why because it actually comes up with previews and what it will look like on see as you can see here it's not really that clear but as you can see on TV this is what it would look like on the mobile device you see it's that part and on the desktop is that part now the thing is is the section that was the logo safe area is like this part it's literally this small area so you want to make sure that the side parts especially on the desktop and the mobile match so um, adjusting the crop you really they really and truthfully there isn't much you can do to adjust the crop so you can't really do anything about that then you just click select then it will save your image and it will save now as you can see I never put my avatar photo or my social links on to the banner YouTube do that automatically um, the reason why this banner has actually been made is so people can click on your uh, on your banner on their phone or iPad or stuff like that because um, normally you, you, you couldn't uh, now you've actually got links to Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Twitch, all sorts. Um, those you can edit. Um, the channel layout. You've got the video here. This video can be shown in one or two ways. You can have it showed as an unsubscribed trader or subscriber view. Uh, if you don't know what that is, uh, unsubscribed trader means that people who are not subscribed to you will see this video. Uh, subscribe review will mean every person who is subscribed to you will see this video when they go on your channel um, personally I will do I'm doing um, unsubscriber trader unsubscribe trader sorry so people who are not subscribed to me will see the video um, and then it comes down with playlists such as um, your playlist that you've got and then your recent uploads uh, playlists the likes you can change this, you can stop it so people don't see your likes. Um, me personally, I want people to see my likes. Some of the videos that I've watched are funny, they're brilliant. Uh, as you can see, I'm subscribed to Markiplier Game. I'm, subscri I'm subscribed, sorry, I can't even talk. Subscribe to uh, Mr. Technical Difficult. Um, so it's really good. Um, I think the only thing YouTube really should do with this is allow us to change our background even if it's just a color allow us to change the background because why to be honest with you I know all of you are going to agree with me on it it looks shit uh, even if we can just change the background color to something that we want that would be best because 
a white background with a custom banner doesn't look decent does it regardless of how many subscribers you've got regardless of anything at all I mean if I take you to let's take you to uh, I don't know if you've done it yet to KSI um, see now he hasn't done it yet um, but eventually he will uh, he he will do it because I know that um, someone said that he was going to do it um, but I'm, just, I'm trying to think who has actually done it uh, who's done it uh, I think PewDiePie's done it um, I'm not entirely sure it's hard to find the person who's done it I can't remember off the top of my head right here we go as you can see look PewDiePie he has done his um, he's got the video set so people who are not subscribed to him see the video there's his banner you can click on the link he's got the t-shirts he's got his Facebook he's got his Twitter so if you click on the link literally it just straight away takes you basically to the page right that's what that link does um, Twitter and Facebook subscribe button all of that as you saw on mine you saw that it didn't say the subscribers or the views or anything that's obviously that's personal but it does show here how many they have got subscribed to them but in all to be I mean PewDiePie over six and a half million subscribers and if you didn't know that this person had this amount of subscribers and you looked at his channel and you looked at how plain it was I mean you just got the lists of videos and you've got the plain white background it doesn't really look that appealing I, re I really think that YouTube should by far they really should turn around and say right we're gonna allow people to change the colour of the background of the entire thing at, at least because at the end of the day it looks shit come on I know a lot of people will agree with me I know some people will disagree with me you know but that's that's just how I feel I don't know if you guys will feel the same so this video has been a video on a tutorial on how to make yourself the banner um, it's also been a video on what I personally think of the new YouTube banner um, but it's up to you guys but I will say this now they are honestly thinking about um, they will be changing it soon so I suggest if you change it now um, it'd be a lot better if you guys are having trouble with making yourself a banner um, I'm actually offering this now if you guys are actually uh, having trouble send me a picture that you want um, any text stuff like that uh, what I'll do is I will provide in the description below an email address for you guys to send it all to me uh, send me the pictures and everything send it to me and I will make you the background image um, obviously if you don't like it let me know I'll re-edit it um, but yeah so I am offering guys if you do want me to help you I will quite happily do that um, I don't know how long I'll be doing that for but I will be doing it from now on for a bit because I know a lot of people are going to struggle um, so but that, that literally that's it so just send me a picture uh, any text or just send me a message saying this is the text you want put in uh, any pictures you want on top of the background image like that um, I'll provide an email in the description below for you guys to send it to me um, feel free to and when you send it to me I'll get straight onto it uh, once I've made it and I've set it all up and I've checked it and it's all good I will then send you an email back with the picture so you can put it on your YouTube alright uh, you'll probably think before I do end this you're probably thinking that I'm doing it for subscribers um, 
of course I would love if you subscribe to me, of course I would, um, I would love it if you subscribe to me. If you want to subscribe to me, because I did make you a uh, picture, a banner, sorry, uh, feel free to. Um, I would really appreciate it, but it's entirely up to you, you know, if you want to subscribe to me for it, subscribe to me for it. If you don't, you don't, right, um, it's entirely up to you. I'm doing it because I know people might struggle. And I'm just doing it because I want to help guys out because I know that really and truthfully this isn't really an appealing thing that YouTube have done recently so but so yeah this has been your boy Mephikis please like please subscribe and I will see you all in the next video peace